everyone, Anastasia with you, Fincasa Investment Advisor. Today with me at this interview session, Ms. Shruti Sodhi. She is a partner at Hyten Legal Associates, and she is having 25 years of experience in the practice of law. Hi, Ms. Shruti. How are you today? I'm very well, Anastasia. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing good as well. I would like to ask you a question, of course, about your background, about your practice in law, about your journey in your career. Can you please share some insights? Sure, I can. Thank you. Uh, so as I say, I am in the version three of my professional journey. Uh, why I call it the version three essentially is because I started out in private practice. I worked across two law firms uh, in India as a young law, first generation lawyer. Then I went in house and I have worked across uh, several Indian and foreign multinationals as a general counsel, both in the IT and the telecom space. So organizations such as Zansa, Bharti Airtel, uh, UAT Associates, and American Express. I served as their uh, India general counsel across each of these organizations. And uh, then, uh, so that was version two. And uh, one fine day I decided how about combining the learnings of both what I did inside of my private practice domain as also uh, as in-house lawyer and bring the two pieces together in a synergistic manner to support um, one, clearly the underserved, if I may call them that. And when I say underserved, I mean uh, quality legal advice to people uh, who are in the startup ecosystem as also in the uh, micro, small and medium enterprises uh, start ecosystem. Essentially because that's where there is a huge need for uh, legal support. And uh, clearly uh, both people willing to kind of support them and the quality that could be pro perhaps provided to them uh, in that space, I found that there was an opportunity there and therefore uh, decided to come back to consulting. And uh, as a partner in Khedan Legal Associates, I have a two or three pronged uh, uh, accountability. One, I head Delhi and North India for the firm and two, I am uh, also uh, charged with and accountable for creating the support that the startup ecosystem needs for the country. And therefore, we largely support startup companies, associations, networks, and funds that in interact or engage with within the system. I'm sure you occupied a great niche and for sure there was a missing niche to, to get support and to get elevated from, as you have said, by professions and undeserved, as you mentioned as well, because it's really important for a startup or for a young project to get to be guided by right people, especially in such a sensitive subject about um, in a terms and condition, in a, uh, arranging the documentation. So everything related to, to a firm and to, to be guided by professionals because uh, you're starting and you should start right. So that's a right, Anastasia. great and diversible journey of yours. <laughs> yes, and just to add, Anastasia, it's also about giving them uh, practical and implementable legal advice because you know they don't want you know they are young uh, you know very intelligent professionals out there creating a, a huge value for the entire ecosystem either in terms of technology or in terms of employment generation or innovation so clearly the need of the hour for them is to see how can we get quality practical in implementable uh, legal advice so that they kind of, uh, you know, they can use it for their business initiatives and be a little more nimble footed in that area. So that's, that's what I enjoy doing actually. I'm sure you are and with the tremendous experience by your guidance, it's, uh, they can go in the right direction. 
So I'm sure uh, pandemic timing, or maybe I wrong, it's not affecting that much your business because this business is still ongoing. The people who is encouraging, they're still working. Is it you get some uh, diversing uh, or some lessons during the pandemic in the um, in, in a matter of, of your workflow, how it's changed besides that you're working remotely? So before I come to your question, actually, you know, uh, uh, Anastasia, how we as a firm have looked at this is an actually an opportunity, not so much for business, but also, but more for creating uh, support as a partner to all our clients and the community out there, because clearly, um, the objective has been to have them think through the crisis and see what actions are needed and wanted for them to survive, sustain, and come out of this crisis. So essentially, the three-pronged support that we've done, you know, across all our clients and client partnerships is to see how we can support them in conserving cash, to how can we support them in uh, conserving relationships without actually having to pull the plug or getting into a dispute, and to see how can they adapt and adopt to the newer requirements of the current environment. Now, in, in the larger support across these three critical domains that are really you know, needed by the industry, yes, there has been uh, with our, uh, you know, uh, efforts, opportunities that have come by, which are new and different from our regular day-to-day -day business activities. So, you know, uh, and, and uh, so it's been a meaningful uh, ex uh, journey and a meaningful expansion to the, to the work and the business that we are in versus just doing and making the most of it because, you know, we lawyers could, potentially thrive in a crisis. So that's not been our objective, but yes, our objective inside of the support that our partners would need in this, in dealing with these times, we've seen how can we augment them and therefore in that space, augment ourselves and our service provision. Okay, understood. And that last question. So you are our panel discussion speaker at Fincasa Online Investment Summit on 15th July. I would like to know your professional thoughts about such an uh, uh, event that basically always used to happen physically and now we are doing something online because we are adjusting to the situation. We are gathering a bunch of investments, startups, great minds, experts like yourself uh, from different industry. So basically we pull everyone together to make business online. So what, what's your provision and thoughts about it? I think it's a brilliant move, uh, Anastasia, if you ask me, uh, especially because yes, these are extraordinary times, but then these extraordinary times only need extraordinary measures. And therefore, if summits like this promote, enhance, and expand business, then clearly medium just becomes one way of creating it. Sure, we can't do it physically right now. Do we not do it at all? Versus do we do it online? Clearly, it's a, it's a no-brainer if you ask me. So absolutely, we must do it. It's a great, a very, very courageous move to do uh, an international event of this size and scale uh, virtually uh, completely understand the logistics and the, uh, you know, the network, uh, you know, coordination that it would take, but it's a great step. And who knows, uh, even when physical, uh, you know, summits are back on in action or back on track, then these, uh, these uh, summits make it that much more richer. Uh, you know, so we can actually in the future have a combination of both physical summits and online summits versus just having them physically and forget about online or just having them online because, you know, that's what the world has come to. So clearly, I do see a huge opportunity in this, uh, you know, in this experiment. One, to keep ourselves afloat in our business conversations for the moment but also look at a combination and a, a, of, uh, you know, this uh, as one more medium of doing such summits. So really a great effort and a great in, uh, initiative by Fincasa. Many, many congratulations to you and the team. 
Thank you so much, Ms. Shruti, for your support, for your words, and for your encouragement. And we're looking forward for a session on 15th, for your presence there online. And we believe for uh, great stories and success stories to be as the uh, outcome, outcome of, the, of this very first event. Thank you so much, Anastasia. Lovely talking to you. Thank you.